What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is the third and final video of this series. Um, this right here is the most important, man. If you plan on capturing leads online or making sales online through Facebook advertising, this is the most important. Um, setting up your custom conversions, okay? I always kind of give an example of, let's say let's say my web, like let's just go to any um, any one of my websites. You have your landing page, right? You have your landing page, and then when someone clicks on this button, right? If they click on this button, then it brings them to an opt-in form, right? And then they opt in. This second page is what Facebook wants to know. They don't want to know your goal. Your goal is to drive them to your landing page to capture a lead. But what is your ultimate goal? Your ultimate goal is to get them here to the thank you page. This page, this URL is what Facebook wants to know. That's what you set your custom conversion around, okay? Um, and this is super, super important. So in my case, with my new funnel that I just set up, um, it's these pages right here that I wanna create custom audiences or custom conversions around, okay? It's, it first starts with the web class, so the web class. So once they opt in, they come to my landing page, they enter their name and email, and all of a sudden they're watching a webinar, okay? I want to create a custom conversion around this because, again, this is a page after the fact. This is a page that they got to and they only got to it by entering their name and email, okay? They opted in. So Facebook wants to know what is the page that you're taking them to. It's this page right here. Now, when they come down and they click on the orange button and they add to cart, Facebook also wants to know that page as well, okay? Because when I set up this custom conversion, not only am I gonna, is Facebook gonna start showing me, showing my ads to people that are most likely to convert, but it's gonna also make sure that my ads are going to the most relevant people and my ad cost is not through the roof. Okay, because I'm, I'm letting Facebook know, I'm saying, hey man, these are the pages within my website that are the most important, okay? I'm looking to get people here, okay? So I'm looking for people to opt in and get to the webinar. I'm looking for people to click the orange button and get to the checkout. And for sure, I'm looking for people who can complete the order. Facebook's machine is going to start showing my ad to people who are likely to get to this page, right? So that's all because I'm setting up custom conversions. So here's how we're going to do it. We're going to come into our, our ads manager. We're going to hit the three lines. We're going to come down, hit all tools, and go to custom conversions right here, okay? Once you click on that one, it's going to bring you right over here. Make sure you click on custom conversions, and then we're going to click this blue button over here. Okay, so now I'm gonna be able to, to name it. I'm gonna I'm gonna let Facebook know what the URL is, and so this one here is going to be web class. Okay, um, let's name this one web class. Um, web class registrants. Web class registrants. Okay, this right here, registrants. Okay, perfect. And then that's the actual pixel. And then the conversion event, this is going to be, um, we're going to go lead, okay? That's the actual event. So we'll go lead. And then the URL contains, doesn't contain, or equals. And I can go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just simply, I'm not going to grab the HTTPS or the WWW. I'm only going to grab the URL that, that from my domain and on, okay? And then I'm going to bring it over here. And I can go with contains, paste that in, and create. Okay, so that's that. And then what I want to do is I want to also create another one for the add to cart. So I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to grab this, copy that, and I'm going to click on the blue button again. And we're gonna go. We're gonna we're gonna name this one. T S R E A T C. Add to cart. Okay. And then that one. This one's gonna be initiate checkout, just like that. 
and then contains that URL. Okay. And then I'm going to hit create and there goes that. And while I'm at it, let me edit this really quick. So web class, I'm going to just simply edit this. Okay. So we'll save that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, so I got the web class registrants. Okay. I got the add to cart and then I want to go order complete. These are people who have purchased. Okay. And I got to edit this page still, but there's, there's the template. There's the URL. So I'm going to come over here, hit the blue button. And this one's going to be, um, T T S R E A course students. Okay. And then I'm going to go, this one's going to be purchase contains and create. Okay. Now what I'm also going to do is let's go back to, let's see if I can add it here. Web class registrants. Let's click on this and let's see if I can actually, um, Okay, I wanted to add, I thought I can add in. Let me see if I can do it this other way. Um, okay, so if anything, reg, web class registrants, let me just, um, I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna do it again because I wanted to see if I can add a second one. So let's come over here, T-S-R-E-A. Web class registrants. Okay, so this is going to also be, this is going to be lead again as we did, and then contains, let's go to, um, I want this one. I might have to do this individually or actually, perfect. Actually, I can go, um, yeah, I can put contains, I can put, yeah, perfect. I could put this other one. Okay, so we're going to go web class in progress. Damn it. Okay, there we go. So I want that. And there it goes there. Okay, perfect. So that is the registrants. Actually, damn, my bad, you guys. Let me go back. Hit create. Perfect. So contains that, hit done. And those are the most important, you guys. Those are the most important. People who actually registered, and again, it could be for a webinar, it could be to download your book, it could be to schedule a, a, a call, it could be anything. When a person goes to your landing page and they enter their name and email, what is that next page? That's the thank you page, right? What I'm telling you is create a custom audience or custom conversion around that thank you page which in my class, it's the web class registrants, okay? Also create a custom conversion around all those who add to cart. Those are people who, are, who added to the cart, but have yet purchased, okay? So I'm creating a custom conversion around all those who landed on that. Um, and then I'm creating a custom conversion around all those who actually purchased, okay? And so that right there, you guys, most, most important, if you're planning on capturing leads or making sales online, set up your Facebook custom conversions first. And then now here's what we do with these. Now, as we come over here to the ads manager and we go and run our next ad, let me refresh this real quick. Let me refresh this. Okay, perfect. So now as we come over here to the ads manager and we click on the green button, okay? 99% of the time, if you guys are looking to capture leads or make sales online, 90%, 99% of your ads are going to be conversions. That's why we set those up, okay? We set those up to optimize for conversions. There's only one thing I'm looking for Facebook, and that's to capture a lead. Or there's only one thing I'm looking for Facebook, and that's to make a sell, okay? And so that's conversions. 
that's conversions. A lot of people mess around. They go engagement. They go video views or maybe even lead generation. Some of you guys are successful at lead generation with this objective, brand awareness, reach, traffic. Now, to start, you may have to go traffic to get that pixel, you know, some data. But after that, you're going to go conversion. That's, that's the 1%. The 1% you're running traffic ads to the landing page, okay? That's the 1% of the time. And then after you start to get data to that pixel, then you're running conversions. 99% of the time from that point on, you're running conversion ads. Let's hit the continue. And then now over here, this is where I'm going to be able to let Facebook know this is the type of person I'm looking for, okay? A person who landed over here or a person who landed over here. I'm, very, I'm being very specific with Facebook. I'm telling them exactly the type of people I'm looking for, okay? So that is what brings us to the second step, which is the ad set, and you'll see this red, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna click, and we're gonna look for that conversion that we just set up. So if I scroll through right here, look at this. There's the one, TSC web class registrants, TSC core students, or I can go lead, or I can go initiate checkout. What I also want to do is I want to go to that four days left, and let me refresh this. Actually, it should be up now, but this one should have been over here as well. Actually, that, one, that one's in the, the lead one also. So that right there, you guys, it'll be, it'll be TS, TSRE core students or the web class registrants. And what we're missing is we're missing, actually it's the lead. The lead, I think that's the one that we set up under, there's the add to cart. Actually, there's the TSC add to cart. Okay, so there's the TSC add to cart. Um, let's go to, let's refresh. So all I gotta do is I gotta just refresh this page or bring it back up and then it would have been, it would have been available. It would have been, rather than being green, it would have been, or rather than being red, it would have been green. I don't think it updates it right then and there, but let's see. So there's the ad, actually there's the, there's the TSRE ATC. That's the add to cart, but it's red. Let me come back to campaign conversions and let's come back and let's see if it's actually green. You want to always refresh the page. So let's see if it's, if it's green, if it's showing up yet. So we come over here and we go, um, okay, so it, I guess it still needs it still needs a little bit of time. That's fine. That's fine. But it's right there. It's right there. So as as I'm saying, as we start to bring traffic and and data to the pixel, then those will start adding up. You know, and then and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go I'm going to go Facebook. I'm looking for people who who are likely to land on the order complete page. I am optimizing. I'm telling Facebook, I'm running conversion ads to get people to that page. Find me more people like that that are likely to get to that page. And that's conversions, you guys. That's custom conversions. That's optimizing for conversions. And that's how you crush it with Facebook ads. All right, you guys. So I'll see you in the next video over and out.